Hi guys! So today I want to try something just a little bit different. I want to make a really short video just highlighting some of our recent stay in the Biloxi, Mississippi area. We were here for quite a while and not only did we have a great time exploring the local Biloxi, Gulfport, D'Iberville, and Ocean Springs areas, but we used it as a good temporary home base to take longer day trips into the surrounding states. There was lots of stuff to eat and do, and I'm hoping that these highlights can help you plan your next trip. First, I'm gonna get into where to stay. Keesler Air Force Base is in Biloxi, and if you have a military ID, you can actually make a reservation at the FAM camp that's there. We opted not to stay at that FAM camp because we really wanted something with more amenities directly available. And um, all FAM camps are different, but this particular FAM camp is actually not located on the main base. At the time that we were in the area, if you wanted um, internet access from the campground, then you were required to pay a $100 refundable deposit um, for some sort of Wi-Fi hotspot. And um, while you do need a military ID to book here, the actual FAM camp, it either wasn't gated or it had a gate that was open all the time. Um, and that was not something that we were looking for. Quick uh, side note while we're talking about the base, if you're actually visiting the area in early spring, it's a good time for you to go and watch the Thunderbirds perform, which is pretty cool. And uh, it's free and open to the public. I love me some free. We ended up staying at the Majestic Oaks RV Resort. It's only about a mile away from the front gate of Keesler. It's actually really close to the VA hospital too, if that's something that you're interested in. And it's really a, only about a mile or a 20 minute walk away from the beach. So if you're like me and you spend a lot of time on Google Maps, when you're studying Google Maps to try to learn the area or make a decision on where you want to stay, you might be tempted to pick the closest resort to the beach. I would definitely encourage you to maybe do a little street view because some of the places we saw didn't look as quiet as we would have liked. I know there's a lot of foot traffic, one appeared to kind of butt up next to a Super 8 motel, which we were kind of not crazy about. Sure, it would have been fine, but a big selling feature for us is that Majestic Oaks is actually gated and that you have to put in a code in order to access the resort. So that made us feel really safe at night, as well as leaving our rig behind at the resort when we took longer day trips. The park actually had laundry facilities, it had propane on site, uh, it had events for guests, it had cornhole, all kinds of fun stuff like that. They even did a barbecue once and it actually even has a little pool which is pretty neat. We also heard that there was a shuttle to the Treasure Bay Casino. I'm not sure, there might be a rumor, check with them, um, but we actually never ended up utilizing it. Another thing to take note of here is that there's actually a combination of back-in and pull-through sites available. However, the park itself is not like a ginormous park, and there are a few spots in the park that may have some tricky corners to get around if you're in a larger RV. We actually saw a few people um, take what I like to call souvenir grass with them. <laughs> um, RIP that grass. Okay, let's talk about the local area. So when I'm talking about the local area, I'm talking about Biloxi, Gulfport, D'Iberville, and Ocean Springs. All of these cities are, I think maybe a little 30 minutes or so-ish from each other. It's not super widespread. So one of the most popular draws here is gonna be the beaches. And Biloxi Beach is actually one of the longest man-made sand beaches in the world. Um, shout out to the Army Corps of Engineers on that one. The water is not like super blue or green, but it's really nice and warm and has really beautiful white sand beaches. There are lots of very cool places along the water where you can rent lots of fun toys and beach equipment, really good restaurants to try, and there's easy access to some of the more popular casinos right along the waterfront. We probably spent the most time in Ocean Springs, which is a really short drive from Majestic Oaks. The vibe of the beach in Ocean Springs, at least to us, felt a little bit more like a locals beach versus kind of like a party area because it butts right up against a residential area and it's further from the casinos. Fun tip here, if you're walking around near the Golden Nugget on the Biloxi side, directly across from Saltgrass Steakhouse, you can access the Biloxi Bay Bridge. 
So from there to the other side of the bridge in Ocean Springs is about two miles-ish and it gives a really beautiful view of the water. This bridge right here that we're looking at, so we're currently in Ocean Springs, you can actually get on this bridge and there is a pedestrian area that you can walk all the way across from Ocean Springs to Biloxi and it'll spit you out right about where the casinos are, right around where uh, Saltgrass Steakhouse is. And sometimes when you're walking across, you can even see some of the sailboats from the Ocean Springs Yacht Club, which is right on that other side of the bridge. If you are walking past the Yacht Club, or if you decide to drive, there is plenty of free street parking, which I, I love free parking. And there's actually past that, further down, there is a parking lot that um, has lots of space and there's even areas where you can accommodate an RV. There is right in the middle, there's a little park there that has another parking lot and it also has restaurants as well as like a little uh, area with some historical information at Fort Maripas City Park. Maripas? Maripas? Definitely set that on. Okay, so I know plenty of you have come to Biloxi to get your gamble on and you have plenty of options. There are several casinos along the main drag on the coast, and there are a few others that are further back from the area that most tourists walk. So the Palace Casino, for example, is not directly in the thick of things, but it's actually the only casino in the area that is completely non-smoking. The IP Casino is another popular casino that people recommended to us, but again, it's a little bit off the beaten path. I would encourage you guys to get out and explore the area beyond the most touristy spots. Our favorite by far was the Beau Rivage. It was really beautiful inside and they switch out the decorations seasonally in the lobby. So I would at the very least encourage you to uh, go and make a stop and just kind of check out the lobby. Also side note, whatever air filtration system they were using was doing a very good job because the smoke smell was overall not as heavy as some of the other casinos that we've been to and we saw people like visibly smoking right in front of us um so if you're looking for some non-casino related activities and you need a break from the beach right across is the big play entertainment center and it's down the street from actually one of our favorite places that I'll talk about a little later in the video. Uh, this place is actually pretty popular and can get pretty busy on the weekends. There's also the Escape Arcade and Family Entertainment Center and the Paradise Pier Fun Park down where Margaritaville is. This can also be good options for you if you're just wanting to get out of your RV and like the weather isn't cooperating. I wanna bring us back to Ocean Springs specifically for a minute. The downtown area there is adorable. There are lots of boutiques and bars and restaurants and events to keep you busy while you're in the area. We also stumbled across a few um, pretty nice pop-up markets and festivals while we were in the area. This feels like a pretty good time to segue into one of my favorite topics, food. Best way to start this off is dessert first, obviously. I think it would be pretty egregious for me to not start off with Tato Nut. This is a little donut shop downtown in Ocean Spring and has I don't say this lightly, probably some of the best donuts I've ever had. A little context for you, side note here. Um, I actually grew up in Houston as a Shipley's girl who loves a fresh cake donut. And until recently, those have probably always been my number one donut. And a few years ago, I tried a green tea donut at a Krispy Kreme in Tokyo. And that was my close second, my close number two. Whatever smoke this earns me in the comments, I think this might be my new favorite donut. Tips, you have to get there early in the day if you can. There is almost always a line and they will close up shop when they run out. And FYI, they are closed on Monday. The only way to make Mondays worse is probably to show up and realize the tato that is closed. I also want to give a shout out to French Kiss Pastries, also located in downtown Ocean Springs. They have a lot of really delicious, freshly made pastries and uh, coffee. K 
can't go wrong with pretty much anything that you order here. Uh, everything looks so good. We basically just told the employee to put two different things in the box for us to try. And I literally wanted to give her a high five after the first bite. All right, y'all buckle up because there is a lot of great food here. Or unbuckle? I should probably make a whole video tutorial on sewing stretchy pants for when you get to a good eating city. All right, so realistically, if I talked about everywhere in the area that we stuffed our faces, <laughs> this video would probably be a good hour long. So down below in the description, I've linked everywhere that I think is actually worth a stop. And that would be either for food alone, ambiance, the experience, or a combo of all three. There were also lots of places that were highly recommended to us and we honestly just ran out of time and didn't get to try them. So I know that this list is not fully comprehensive, but I just wanted to put my two cents in. And if you're like me and you sit up all night bookmarking places you wanna try in Google Maps, hopefully some of these are worth bookmarking for you. I will shout out one of our favorite places. And I know it was our favorite place because I saw the credit card statement. It was Shaggy's. <laughs> what could be better than nachos and margaritas on the beach? Go ahead. My go-to were the nachos that are actually part of the appetizers, but they're such a huge portion. If you have them as a meal, you'll be more than fine. They are totally shareable. I enjoyed them with shrimp, but if you're there during crawfish season, you can ask your server to add them even if you don't see them on the menu. What is more apropos than eating crawfish nachos on the Gulf? I know many people in recent years due to heavy crowds and cost increases have been looking for really just a lower cost alternative to busy Florida beaches. And although I love me some Florida, I wanted to show you guys a few highlights of the Biloxi area if you're looking to start off 2024 with some warmer weather and sunshine. With that said, I think I'm going to go ahead and close this one out, guys. Feel free to drop questions or comments down below. Who makes your favorite donut? That's critical info, so, you know, don't keep that to yourself. What are some of your favorite places in the Biloxi area? I'm sure other people would love to know, and I'd be interested to know for the next time that we're in the area. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Go forth, be kind, be creative. Bye, guys.